All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Office. And finally, something came across my desk that is worth sharing with you guys if you don't read the news or anything else like that as it relates to the Second Amendment. Uh, there are so many states in our country that basically spit in the face of the Second Amendment. Uh, you know, now we have Minnesota, Oregon, you've got California, Maryland, New York, New Jersey, uh, Illinois, just to name a few. Uh, but I think the fight for our Second Amendment rights is 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 working because these guys are finding less and less reasons why they can cancel out a primary right that we have. The Second Amendment is not a secondary right, but you do still have people who are fighting and fighting and fighting to prevent you from being able to protect yourself. And and all in the guys uh, that they, they expect, oh, these laws will make our communities so much safer. Oh, this and that. You know what will make our community safer? Go after criminals. Go after the bad guys. People who commit crimes, put them in jail and keep them there. Okay, instead of the weak on crime effect that you have, like California, New Jersey, New York, where some guy can actually go out and kill someone or shoot them and be out that same day or the next day. It's absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. So anyway, I found this really cool article. Uh, this comes to us, by the way. I'm going to share this with you guys. OK, this is the Associated Press. I love these guys. This came out yesterday. The court temporarily allows part of New Jersey's handgun carry law to remain in effect. OK, so, so some background on this is that uh, the NRA, as well as the Association of New Jersey Rifle and Pistol Clubs, sued. OK, under the Bruin case. Right. So what happened is uh, getting rid of the uh, the need for you to justify that you needed to carry something. Right. So let's go ahead and talk about this. Trenton, New Jersey, a federal appeals court has temporarily agreed to keep part of New Jersey's handgun carry law in effect as the court proceedings play out. All right. So. Uh, Going forward, there were some things where there was no restrictions on where you could carry. Uh, also, uh, insurance. <laughs> they wanted you to have insurance on when you carry a gun. And I know a lot of people who think like that. Most of them, yes, they are liberals because they don't recognize the Second Amendment as being a primary right of the people to keep and bear arms and shouldn't be restricted, nor should we have to uh, incur the cost of insurance. I mean, most cases like you got USCCA or whatever it's called, right? They don't even want you to have that. They won't, they don't want you to have the ability like New York. They want to outlaw stuff like that. You got Chuck Schumer. You shouldn't have the right to have defensive, uh, defense insurance, right? To protect yourself in the court of law, because, Hey man, if you're in New York and you defend yourself and you kill somebody, guess what's going to happen? Your firearms, you, your everything else, you're gone, and you're going to go to jail, and you're going to be uh, indicted, and uh, well, anyway, you're going to have to protect yourself. So they want you now instead of having that, they want you to carry liability insurance. <sighs> you have to have liability insurance to have an abortion. Hmm, I don't know. We're not going to go there. Anyway, uh, <laughs> let's talk about this. The Third Circuit Court of Appeals on Tuesday granted the state attorney general's request to keep part of the law that bars people from carrying handguns in sensitive places in effect. Okay, so it has also denied a denied Attorney General Matt Plackin's request in part, leaving in place a lower court's order that put an insurance mandate on hold. Okay, so what happened is the upper courts, the appeals court, they went ahead and said, all right, we agree with you that you can, we need to bar you from being able to carry handguns in sensitive areas, schools, theaters, parks, libraries, things like that. Some of that stuff is agreeable. Some of that stuff is not agreeable. Like North Carolina, we can carry into our public parks. Okay. Uh, concealed gun. They don't really want you to carry open into a public art park because it's going to just scare the hell out of everybody. And as a matter of fact, uh, I saw more open carries this uh, last week when I was on vacation out on Emerald Isle than I have ever seen before. Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about that later on because, uh, yeah, there was a security guard here locally where I live that had his whatever handgun it was. I think it was a uh, Springfield uh, XDM, but that damn thing was in a Serpa holster and it was not designed for that gun. So he just, damn thing was stuck in there, didn't protect the trigger, nothing. And I was just like, you're just setting yourself up for <laughs> some bad stuff. 
Okay, the decision means handguns cannot be carried in places such as zoos, public parks, public libraries, and museums, bars, and healthcare facilities. Uh, the law bars handguns from being carried in those places as well, schools and child care facilities. The lower courts may the lower courts may injunction did not specify those locations and the appeals court also didn't remove the prohibit, pro, prohibition in those places not sure what the hell he's talking about there the appeals court though rebuffed the state's effort to undo the lower court's injunction against an insurance mandate for firearm carriers that was scheduled to take effect in July what a crock of crap. Okay, so this basically says that anybody carrying a firearm, uh, if you shoot somebody, then somebody's going to, what does that do? What is? What exactly does this insurance do? Uh, uh, who's it paid out to? The state? Probably. Because the state, you know, they, they rip everybody off anyway. <laughs> but uh, if you know the answer to that, please put it down below. Um, the 2022 law stemmed directly from the U.S. Supreme Court's June decision that struck down a New York state law requiring people to show proper cause to carry, get a carry license. Uh, yeah, and so what they did in New York, basically, is they made it illegal to carry a gun anywhere, right? The ruling affected states with similar laws, including New Jersey, where carry applicants had to show justifiable need to get a permit. Yeah, you have to illustrate to us, which we will just take our sweet ass time on approving your ability to protect yourself while out in public. It's actually a crock. In a statement, Platkin, the attorney general for New Jersey, said the decision was gratifying and it called it a win. Democratic Governor Phil Murphy said he was thrilled. I didn't even know that guy was still a governor. Uh, this decision will make New Jersey a safer state for us all. Again. Phil Murphy, why don't you just worry about taking people off the streets that are actually out there committing the crimes? It's too easy to go ahead and take law-abiding citizens' rights away uh, than put your people to work. Oh, I'm sorry, you're anti-police as well. Yeah. In a statement to its members, the Association of New Jersey Rifle and Pistol Clubs, an affiliate of the National Rifle Association, is it really, said that its members should take care to stay informed since developments affecting the law continue to unfold. Yeah. So uh, what do we learn from this little article? New Jersey's a, a slap in the face to the Second Amendment, folks. Uh, secondly, uh, yeah, keep up the speed on what's going on in your state, and your local areas and know where you can and cannot carry uh, legally. OK, <laughs> my way is that they got to catch you first. OK, so if you walk into a school and there's metal detectors, you might want to turn around. So with that, um uh, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are down below. If you haven't, uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. I always end them like this. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless with men, women, in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom is not free. And the infamous words of the real Cobra burnout. I always say that because I like to do. Boom. Y'all be good.